One thing that we have to keep in mind when actually machining Inconel, there's probably no better efficient way to machine Inconel than ceramics. So if you got the right application, it's definitely something to look at. The cool thing about ceramics is when you look at surface foot, so a Harvey 3, you're going to be down at like 125 to 200 surface foot. With ceramics, you can go up to 500, 600, 1,000 to over 3,000 surface foot and beyond. Now, why is that? It's because the ceramic end mill is chemically inert. So it doesn't recognize the heat. So even though you see a ball of flames, it's like cool under pressure right there, doing its thing and making those cuts, right? If, if you got carbide, carbide comes into the inconel and it creates heat. And the faster you go, the more heat that comes up. And there is a limit to how much heat you can actually put into that partnership, the tool and the material. So once you go up to a certain level, instead of increasing productivity and efficiency, you decrease it. You wear your tool and you eventually break it, wasting money. So carbide machining and ceramic machining are completely different. All right, so ceramics have good strength. They're tough. So you automatically think you have to use that, right? No, it depends on the application. If you're profiling nice and deep, going around crazy parts, then maybe you want a Harvey 3 so you can go three, four times D. You can go tricordial milling and you can get after it and your tool will last for hours. One thing that you see in ceramics is, you know, you have insert cutters and you have end mills and end mills usually have smaller flutes. So when it comes to milling, they might be efficient in one type of part, but maybe not as efficient in another type of part. At the end of the day, it comes to your material removal rate, your MRR. So you gotta look at that. You gotta look at due dates. You gotta look at when you need to get parts done. You gotta look at the type of machine that you have. If you have a crazy machine and you have advanced capabilities where you can run five different tools and run them all as tool one and you can run the first one for a certain period of time bring the second one the third one the fourth one in therefore making the entire process efficient then ceramics is amazing but as i said there's other applications that simply don't make sense all right so you guys be the judge my job here is just to have some fun to teach you guys manufacturing show you what we use show you surface foot chip flow depth of cut boom 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 and open your mind to the possibility Nineteen hundred and sixty-eight SFM. That is absolutely incredible. But that's the whole thing about ceramics. You have to run them fast. Ah, uh, just insane. Ah, uh, so now we're like past like the five minute, six minute mark. It's just running nonstop. It looks absolutely beautiful. The sound hasn't changed. Nothing has changed. Now this is when you start really realizing that this process of Removing Inconel is actually incredibly efficient. And that's why they say ceramics is the most efficient way to rough nickel alloys. So keep tuning in because we'll bring even more videos showing ceramics in dynamic applications, making it happen. Now, again, I just want to stress the importance of understanding the application, understanding the tool, the ceramics. So the ceramics excels in this application, but if you actually look at the tool, you don't have a huge flute length to it. And that's one of the drawbacks. Whether it be shell mills or end mills, you're usually taking a pretty shallow depth of cut, which is awesome because it murders that material, right? But on certain applications where you have to drop down with only an end mill and you have to get into crazy grooves and you have to have a long flute length, then you definitely would use the six flute carbide Harvey three. That is a crazy tool also, and it has the flute lengths. Like you can take a three quarter inch tool and drop down four inch in titanium or inconel, and it'll just handle it. 
It won't go as fast as the ceramics, but it will last long. So when it comes to both types of tools, make sure you have a good understanding and look at your application and make sure that you choose wisely. Oh man, what a crazy test this is. That tool looks amazing. We're up over 12 minutes of non-stop cutting and you can't even hear a difference. Like it sounds so good.